Happy days, guys! More than gems is here! Let's find out how we get the most out of this event. Hi everyone! Ladus here! And Anne! So today we are going to go through what are the different choices you have when using gems during More Than Gems. Now the first thing we will cover is for our early game players. So M, if you are in your early game, what's the most important thing to spend your gems on? Book of Covenant so that you can update your castle. Okay, let's have a look at what she's talking about. So if you go to your shop, not the VIP shop, the other shop, then if you go to the last option, then under other you have Book of Covenants. Now Book of Covenants, these things, you need a lot of them to upgrade your castle. Now let's have a look at what we mean by that. So the castle, um, mine is 25 already, so we can't really show, but if it's not 25 yet, you need a lot of books to upgrade that and your castle gets stuck and then you can't upgrade your other buildings, you can't get to your T5 tech, you can't upgrade your academy. So it's kind of a bottleneck for a lot of different things. So that's why we need to buy Book of Covenants every time we have more than gems. Now, you may not be at a stage where you're stuck in terms of upgrading your castle, but even if you're not stuck, you will get stuck unless you're spending a lot of money. So definitely make sure you pick up the Book of Covenants during More Than Gems. Now, one of the thing where people sometimes spend money, which we kind of recommend not to, is the Arrow of Resistance. So that's something you get a little stuck on as well. And you need that to upgrade what, M? Do you know? Yes, the Watchtower. Yes. Now, we recommend not to spend gems on this because you actually get a lot from doing Barbarians. So you'll naturally get that. So even if you get stuck for a little while, don't spend on that. Now, if your castle is upgraded, then there's one other thing where you can spend some gems, which is Master's Blueprints. And this is what you need to take your buildings to level 25. And there's no other way to get that other than buying with gems. So these are the primary two things that we recommend spending gems on. Now, M, if your castle is at 25 already, yes. then... What's the next thing you should be spending your gems on? You should be spending your gems on getting to VIP 12. Because if you do, you get two free legendary gold heads every single day for free. So, let's have a look. This is what she's talking about. So, let's have a look at VIP 12. So, when you're at VIP 12, you get two legendary commander gold heads, universal ones, for free every day, just for logging in. Now, at level, VIP level 11, it's actually one, and at 12, you start getting two. And VIP 12 is reasonably achievable for most players so that's where you can spend gems now how do you spend gems to get your vip level up you can just buy them in the shop as well so let us have a look was it under vip where was it there was a way you could buy vip it's here yeah in the first one under resources so you can just literally buy them as many as you want now, these two being said, th these three things in a way, so you have um, the Book of Covenant, you have Master's Blueprints, and you have VIP Points. So that being said, how much gems do you spend? So M, as a low, to, low spender to free to play, how much gems do you normally spend on more than gems? You should usually, I spend, well, 7,000 because mm -hmm. I don't have enough gems to 425. That's a very good point. So what we're talking about is, unless you're a big spender, you spend 7,000 gems on day one and then it resets the next day and then you spend another 7,000. So if you spend 7,000 gems on anything in game, 
then for free pretty much for free on the side you get five plus five which is ten gold heads now if you're a medium to big spender then obviously you can spend twenty five thousand gems each day and that way you get 16 gold heads eight plus eight for each day 16 gold heads over two days for free now a long time ago more than gems used to happen when there is a wheel on the side as well but nowadays it doesn't really correlate with any other event so you're pretty much relying on the vip shop now let's have a look at the vip shop so assuming your castle is done your your uh, buildings are all at 25 and your vip 12 which is where m's account is at the moment right yes okay so looking at the vip shop m where would you spend your gems you you can spend your gems on mm -hmm. the 24 hour enhanced defense mm -hmm. so that's one of the items you can't get from anywhere else and that's quite important to get and if you buy all 10 of them that gives you seven thousand, right yes now where do you use the 10 percent defense you use it when it's time for arc and kvk yes so after you get your 10 10 percent defense boosts then you should be looking at different options now generally more than gems come on saturdays nowadays so you can't buy more of that because it's just two days if more than gems came on sundays then you could have bought 10 of them on sunday and 10 on monday when the vip yeah. shop resets again now in terms of other things in the in the vip shop m what's the next option that you'd go for i'd go for speed ups and material yeah. you can buy the eight hour speed up or the 24 hour speed up that comes later on when you're high vp uh, vip but i can only afford the eight hour because yeah. i'm not enough vip level yet to oh. buy the 24 hour okay yep so the eight hour vip vip speed ups are pretty good value and then the other thing you can buy if you're not into speed ups um then you can buy material as well yeah. now that choice will depend on whether you you run out of speed ups when training or when healing or whether you are working towards a good set of equipment so you kind of can choose which one you're um, picking up from the shop yeah now m would you consider buying the 50 percent expansions no because you can get them for a cheaper price in the mysterious merchant that's correct so you have to keep a good eye on the mysterious mysterious merchant shop because often you can get them at 2000 or lower um, in that shop that's why we don't really buy them from the vip shop now speaking of the vip shop um, some people do prefer to buy the um, blueprints actually so if you're working towards a gold equipment set for any of the troop types you can buy that as well in my case i have that already in m's case she can't really afford it so that's why we kind of don't go for that um, in a very early game situation you can consider buying the bundles of dazzling star like structures yeah, to upgrade your commanders and if you're in a situation where you urgently need to max a commander some people consider buying the gold heads from here as well which is not a bad option either but um, for the general population i think the best spend is the 10 percent defense boost yeah. and that's very good and getting some speed ups and some material you really don't want to spend on the epic equipment items because you get them nowadays from many different events for free so i'm talking about um, these ones so they are definitely not worth buying from here okay so that covers m situation um so in my case what would i be spending on so let's actually do it together um i need to get rid of the verification rewards it, it bothers me when it's I know. flashing i know it's like ah my world <laughs> is broken yeah it's quite annoying okay. and they made new graphics oh yeah the pictures are new but it's just as annoying okay so we are trying to get to twenty-five thousand spent so the first thing that i would do 
is I would definitely pick up what I mentioned that's very, very important. Now, I got that. Now, I actually don't want to buy the attacks because I don't use them that often. Yeah, and um, we're not in... You only use them in normal um, normal kingdom, not in... Not in um, KVK. Yeah, not in KVK or not in ARK. Now, what's the second thing that I want to buy? Now, the second thing I want to buy is the Equipment. legendary... Equipment materials. materials. Yeah. yeah. So let's see where did that get us up to? Did it take us all the way? No, it didn't. So we need to spend another six uh, five thousand five hundred. So five thousand five hundred. Yeah. Now where let's are... get the purple ones. So how many do we need how many of them do we need to buy? Um one, two, two three, four. four. Now we need to buy just one hundred uh, gems more I think and that should take us there did it no what? no massive meal <laughs> massive miscalculation yeah so Too bad. let's get the embarrassing let's get the um, equipment, what's it called? Material. equipment material more of the purple ones now do I normally buy them not really we only do that because it comes with the double value um, of getting gold heads as well. So for the day we got eight gold heads. Actually, we got eight plus five So how many is that? 13. Eight plus five equals 13. Okay, so we got 13 gold heads today We're gonna get 13 more tomorrow. So where am I going to spend more tomorrow? This is for mid to high spenders, I guess so I will finish up buying the all the equipment so the purple ones and the blue ones and then rest of them I'm going to use on speed ups um Actually, I'll probably buy the 50,000, one or two of the 50,000 training reserves as well. Because okay. during Zenith of Power, we used up all that we had. So we'll yeah. get that and then we'll probably get some speed ups. And that will get us to 25 again. And just mentioning again, so in M's case, for so basically for low spenders or free to play, we will go for 7,000 a day. And we just went through what she was buying during the 7,000 situation. Um. Yeah. I would like to add something for Ladus's case. Mm -hmm. Those reserves cost 500, so... 5,000? 5, 5,000, yeah. And 5 times 5 equals 25, so we would only need to buy 5 of them. Oh, that's right. So if I was going for more reserves, then I can just... If I needed reserves, then I can just buy 5 of them. But in my case, I'm probably going to go for just a couple and rest of them on speed-ups. I don't know why I want to have them, but it's actually... It feels good to have them because um, in a Mightiest Governor or other random situations, you may have um, the urgent need to train some. Yeah. So that covers more than gems for today. And um, when we were talking about this video, M and I decided that we are going to do another video on the most efficient use of gems overall. So not just focusing on more than gems, um, but overall. Yeah. So how can, when can we get that out? By a couple of days? Yes. Yeah, okay. I think we should do that in a couple of days. All right. No problem at all. So I hope you guys enjoyed um, looking at our idea on spending more than gems. Hope you got some good tips and guide out of this as well. Yep. So I we we'll did. call it a day for now. Bye from Ladus. And M. And don't forget to like and subscribe. Hit the notification button so that you never miss a video.